Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Yesterday we talked about using named ranges to make formulas easier. And in yesterday's podcast, I showed you how to use the name box to set up a name for a range. Um, that's really a shortcut to the insert name define dialog box. This is really where a lot of the work for naming ranges or deleting name ranges or changing name ranges actually happens. In today's podcast, we're going to set up a name that doesn't apply to a range of cells or a cell. Instead, it applies to a constant. Let's say that uh, we have a sales tax rate that changes every quarter or half year or something like that. I can set up a name in this workbook called sales tax. Again, no spaces allowed. And in the refers to box, instead of referring to a cell, I can put an actual number there. In this case, 0.065 six and a half percent which is our sales tax rate click add and the name is now available in any of my formulas so here i have a formula equals sales tax times d2 um, later on when the sales tax rate changes i can go to insert name define redefine that as the new sales tax rate six or six and three quarters or seven or whatever it is and all of my formulas will automatically update to the new sales tax rate so Names can be used for ranges like we did yesterday or for values like today. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.